So, what is the relationship between angular momentum and torque? We have angular momentum, angular momentum L is equal to, angular momentum is usually represented using the letter L equal to R cross P, where R is the position vector and P is the linear momentum. And we also know the torque, torque, we represent torque as tau is equal to R cross F, where R is again the position vector and F is the force. So, if you derive this expression that is L equal to R cross P, that is dL divided by dt, derivative of angular momentum with respect to time, that is d by dt of r cross p. Since there are two vectors in here, you must use the product rule, that is derivative of first function dr by dt cross p, p that is second function plus sec first function into derivative of second function dp by dt. This actually is the product rule of derivatives. So, you have to do it this way. So, you know dr by dt, the rate of change of position of a body with respect to time gives the velocity. Velocity equal to dr by dt. So, you can substitute v for dr by dt. v cross p is equal plus r cross then what about dp by dt you know from the newton second law we have force is equal to rate of change of momentum dp by dt so r cross f so again again this p can be written as p means the linear momentum linear momentum is actually the mass of the body times the velocity of the body. So, P equal to mb, mb. Since mass is a scalar, you do not have to put that vector sign. Plus, this R cross F, we know it is torque. So, torque. Now, we have this m since this m is a scalar you can take that out so you have dl by dt is equal to since this mass is scalar you can take that out that is m into v cross v plus torque now the cross product of any vector with that vector is zero so this will be zero therefore dl by dt dl by dt is equal to 0 plus torque to that is rate of change of angular momentum dl by dt gives the torque. So, this is the relationship between the angular momentum and torque. And from this relation, you can derive the law of conservation of angular momentum. That is, what, what if the, there is no torque acting on the body? If no torques act on the body, that is, if tau equal to if tau equal to zero implies dl by dt equal to zero. dl by dt is equal to zero means the change dl equal to zero. If you take dt to the right, if there is no change, means l remains constant. L equal to a constant. So, if you connect these two, you will get, you will see that in the absence of an external torque or if the torque is zero, the angular momentum of that body remains constant. And this is called the law of conservation of angular momentum. Clear.